Herzlich willkommen in den deutschsprachigen Raum. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau. Welcome to Journey to the Chateau and uh, I'm Patrick. And I'm Stuart. This week we are finishing up uh, the long, long renovation of our rambling ranch in Woodstock, Illinois. Today we would like to show you the conclusion of the renovations of this house and first a short recap of uh, the floor plans. This mid-century modern Rambler style ranch house sits on a partially wooded lot of three and a half acres or 1.4 hectares. Built in 1967, it has approximately 4,359 square feet or 405 square meters. The Rambler ranch style features a horizontal profile with a large footprint across the property, as well as a low-pitched roof, wide overhanging eaves, a minimalist exterior with lots of windows and sliding doors to create a seamless indoor-outdoor transition, and the use of mixed materials such as stone and wood, all on a single ground floor level. The main house includes four bedrooms, three full bathrooms and one half bathroom, a dining room, a three season room, a kitchen with pantry, a living room, a family room, a laundry room, a bonus room, a utility room, and a four car garage. A later addition of an apartment above the garage has its own separate entrance and includes a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, and a full bathroom. So because we have these very, very long hallways, there have been, uh, there has been put in a door between the main house and the laundry room, the office, the, uh, what we call the dark room, it used to be the old garage. And that's, we had to take that all out because it just was not a good flow. This hallway has a laundry room in it, and uh, when we first looked at it, it had a very large opening with, uh, what are, they, are those panel doors? Folding doors. Fold, folding doors, and it was two sets. So basically it was like a big long opening of a double closet that uh, opened up into this laundry room. And mind you, that it's not they, that was actually that they could fold open. They were attached, um, and so instead of building actually a, a wall, uh, someone thought, let's just put in some cheapo folding doors and call it a laundry room. Right, right. And this room did have wallpaper in it. If you can tell from the photos, it had a little blue striped wallpaper in it with a border at the top. And we actually, oh, you know, yeah. uh, uh, we actually had, how many rooms we had? Uh, three, how many rooms had wallpaper? At least, uh, including the hallways. Yeah, about seven. Yeah, that we had to, to strip wallpaper because we ended up putting no wallpaper back. So we had to strip wallpaper off of a lot of rooms. And this is one of them. And uh, I think after we got it uh, uh, all stripped down and we, we decided that we were going to kind of reconfigure the laundry room because it didn't need to have this big opening, we decided to use one of the new doors that we put into the house and we actually put it onto a, uh, it's, a it's a barn, is it a barn door? Yep, they, it's not a barn door, it slides to the side. Right, so it just slides doesn't sideways. Take up any space. Yeah, it worked out great. Yes. This is the fourth bedroom in the house and it's really nice, the slider, it has a little courtyard. Um, and I don't know if that really shows, but they were already, uh, it, it was so not taken care of. There were trees that were about eight to 10 feet mm -hmm. tall, saplings, uh, that needed to go because they were like, um, I don't know, eight inches, six inches away from the foundation, so that's never a good idea. And unfortunately, um, the prior owners had uh, a German Shepherd and didn't take particularly good care of him, which is really horrible to begin with. Um, and so they just let him out, and then 
he would go come back in and this was a part covered room and German Shepherd just needs to be brushed a couple of times a week really nicely and maybe towel down when it's wet outside but they didn't do this so this room smelled so yeah. badly it was bad. um, and we felt so sorry for that dog being locked into that room but uh, we knew we had to <laughs> do have drastic measures. So we had yeah. to redo the entire room. Yeah, and that included, uh, we had a, a couple of rooms that we had to uh, remove carpeting because we really didn't want carpeting anyway. So once everything was removed um, in terms of carpet underlayment, we put in a new uh, barrier uh, and we chose in two rooms uh, bamboo flooring because it's extremely hard um, and we have not regretted it. It's a beautiful floor. Yeah. This is one of the five bathrooms we have in this house. And so we, we, we took out the floor because that was just really bad. Um, replaced the toilet, replaced the, the vanity. And then we looked at the, the tiles, um, the surround in the bathtub, and it was actually in good shape. It just needed a thorough, thorough cleaning, right. which we did. Um, we tried to be very mindful of the environment and in rehabbing or renovating to produce as little waste as possible. So we kept the original tiles. Yeah. Um, and finally, yes, I, uh, we painted, I tiled, and it's, I think it's a really nice bathroom. Yeah. And it's when my parents are come to visit from Germany, they usually stay two to three weeks. Um, it's their bathroom and had never had any complaints. This is yet another bedroom, uh, which we decided to use as uh, our office. Right. And it's the only bedroom that doesn't have a slider. Um, it's, uh, it's a large room and has its own suite bathroom, which also was a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you look into a toilet and you think there is a brown life form in it, um, after two years of not being flushed, it was just awful. But again, this had wallpaper, it had carpeting. carpeting. Um, it's just awful. When we worked on the bamboo flooring in this room, Ginger wanted to help. She's adorable. This is the bathroom that went with the bedroom we just saw, and it was actually set up as a handicap bathroom. Yes, it has an extra white door, and um, this bathroom was just like the other ones in really bad shape. Yeah. Um, it hadn't been updated, um, and as I mentioned beforehand, there was looked like there was a life form in the bath, uh, in the toilet. So. Uh, we were really, um, it was a no-brainer that that needed to be redone. Yeah. This photo is showing from the floor plan what it was called the bonus room. The bonus room for us is what we call the dog room. Um, it has uh, a small hallway between the, the room and uh, the outside. So the um, two doors and each door has a doggy door in it, so our dogs can basically go in and out as they please all day long and have this uh, 450 square foot, uh, so it's about 40 some square meter large room, which is heated and air conditioned. Um, and, it's an, and it's also a nice setup for you doing uh, grooming. Yes, yeah. uh, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great room. They play, they sleep there. Um, and it's, it made this so perfect for us for, for having dogs. And that little corner that looks like a, a cage is actually where, if we have puppies, which doesn't have often, but, often, but if we have them, um, they, for the first, um, they can't be with the adults because sometimes adult 
dogs can be a bit um, rough. So they have their own area and uh, there's a door to the courtyard where they can run in and out all day if it's a summer litter or a spring litter. Um, it has a sun sail on it and a mos it's mosquito netting so they are completely protected and go in and out all day long like the adults and it's actually quite awesome. This is the really quite awesome four car garage that the former owner built. Yes, he did something really right. Yeah, that was this. Finally. Um, now the, the uh, four car garage um, had solid wood garage doors, mm. uh, which is great. That's no, no problem there. However, uh, when you have solid wood, you also need to uh, protect the wood, which they didn't. So, um, there were about, we were told about 200 pounds of water logged into the wood because it was so porous that it absorbed water at this point. So we had to um, replace the garage doors. And um, we finally uh, realized that the entire upstairs um, in-law suite was built out without a permit. And that was a big headache. Um, however, so uh, we got this all straightened out and everything is permitted and everything is, uh, has been inspected and we had to remedy a couple of things. Um, but so there is a whole in-law suite above uh, the garage with a living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen and three little walk-in closets or large closets. Uh, it's nice. Right. Um, and we mentioned in the previous episode that that's where we stayed when we were renovating most of the house at the very beginning. It, beautiful views. I mean, yeah. you sit up there and you, you overlook, uh, basically you can look into the valley and it's really, really nice. Yeah. While we were finishing up, taking out the entire tiles in the hallway and the subfloor, um, it was the last two tiles right in this picture in the doorway. Yeah or in front of the doorway, uh, when we went underneath with the crowbar, pulled it up, there was a noise and it was like And it took about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds and Stuart said, oh my God, I smell gas. Yeah, I think we heard the noise for quite a while before we actually smelled anything. Right? No, I but think you smelled it really quickly. Really, I, I don't remember. I mean, that was that was quite a few years ago. So that, that happened. It was slightly traumatic too. And so not only did they put in a wrong subfloor, they also nailed a quarter inch of subfloor with three inch nails, which are about this long for something that's this thin. Anyway, so it went uh, all the way through and was covered. I mean, it was uh, clogging the a hole that it punched into the gas line for the entire time. But when we pulled it up, the gas came through. So we had to evacuate the dogs ourselves, call the gas company. Uh, and it was snowing. It was a great day in Woodstock. This is another bedroom that we refer to as the Laura Ashley bedroom. Wallpaper and curtains matching. Mm -hmm. um, Actually quite quite high-end, quite pretty. Uh, the daughter of the former owner had um, all her girlfriends over the, before they moved out and everyone wrote little messages everywhere on the wallpaper. Yeah. Everywhere. It's uh, a ball pen, permanent marker. Uh, it was, it, so it was completely ruined. And so once we started taking this down, steaming it, this, you could steam, I mean, we could steam the living daylight out of this. It came down, out, came off the walls in like inch, Very two small. inch, oh, just it, teeny it tiny horrible. pieces. This took us, I think, two full days. Long, it was the longest of all the wallpapers that we took down. Now, then you add insult to injury, and what was that? That was that we found out after we took the paper down that uh, not only did they mark on it, but they had also put uh, posters, pinholes, whatever. They had poked things into the wall, into the wall with pins. Everywhere. And so we had holes all over this wall, the pinholes. Yes, tiny, but they were there. Right. Um, so once we were done with taking down the wallpaper, washing the walls, um, we had to uh, take Mastiff and, and re-speckle, send the entire walls. Yeah. There was not 
a square foot where there were no holes in this right. room. The only good thing I can say about this room is that this did not have carpeting in it. So hey, it actually so had the wood floor already there, so the, the wood floor actually just needed to be refinished and it turned out beautiful. Yeah, and, and look, I mean, it has a beautiful view of the pool and the backyard. It's got sliders out to the back. Yeah. It, it's a nice room. Yeah. It's, um, it just was a lot of work. Right. That we, we didn't expect to be right. so. And we ended up using this because uh, we didn't need one another extra bedroom, so we ended up using this as a library. Yep. So this house actually has a master suite, which includes a master hallway with closets, the, the master bedroom and the master bathroom all together. And the, this master hallway was one of the carpeted rooms mm. in the house. Yep. And of course, wallpapered. Of course. With uh, the entire master bedroom also being wallpapered. wallpapered. Right. But no, um, at least no carpeting in the master right. bedroom. Right. But, um, the other thing that this had, it, it's a built-in between the two closets on the left. Right. And it was uh, a color that I referred to as uh, human liquid waste product yellow. I didn't know where you were going with that, but... Uh, well, it was just... I know what you called it, but I didn't know how you were going to say it here. <laughs> yeah, and it was, and actually, Sorry. It, it turned out to be a really interesting project because, you know, once we decided that uh, you know, the, the top, which was made out of, um, was it, was it Bakelite? Or uh, was, no, it's... It was, uh, some sort of, We uh, still are, are not quite not sure, sure, but it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's white-ish yellow fake marble, uh, but it's very heavy, so it's like, right. uh, man-made stone right, product. Right, right. And it actually, we were able to take that off of the top, and what happened was, because we decided, we were thinking about refinishing this, we wanted to see if we could actually... If we were going to repaint it, or if we were going well, actually, to actually we're, try to strip it, we want to take it out at some point. Well, yes, <laughs> yes. And it was actually a built-in, and we found out when we took the top off of it that it actually was marked on the inside. Yes, yeah. and it's so. Um, question f for anyone: Why would people paint something that is solid walnut, walnut wood? Yeah. So it's beautiful walnut wood. Uh, so we had to strip it, and it was a very satisfying project. Yeah, because uh, we went from what I earlier described, yellow, uh, to solid, beautiful walnut wood, um, and it's such a precious original feature of this house. Mm -hmm. This is the master bedroom. It had uh, well, it had wallpaper and border that we had to take down, of course. And it had uh, uh, the original wood floor, which was parquet, which was the same as what was in the great room of the house. Yes. And still is, actually. Yeah, it still is, yes. <laughs> but it was ex just extremely dark, this very, very dark chestnut, which is a beautiful color. I mean, I, I love it. Um, but the, the darker a floor, the more you can see in terms of right. dust or anything. And as you can see, uh, the... Nature is encroaching very closely to the house. Mm -hmm. And the, the problem with having walls of shrubs and small trees very close to the house is the house never dries out. Right. So you have uh, moisture issues, which we didn't have yet. And this house has uh, no kind of uh, mold issues in it because I'm highly allergic to mold and so there, nothing. Uh, so I don't have any problems in this house. So that's a good thing. Right. Uh, but f taking down the the wallpaper, I think we're well prepared to um, move into a chateau and take down wallpaper because yeah, <laughs> we've done that plenty. Yep. This is <laughs> what. So this is the master bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know you're thinking, guys, don't change anything about that. That's perfect. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I, I mean, who would? I mean, sorry, it's, uh, it's these beautiful plywood cabinets that, um, and, and the 1980s, late, late 1980s, um, fabric covered, uh, frame yeah. of the mirror. Oh, yeah which I can't even tell you how many layers of um, 
dust and gunk were on them. That was just, yeah. I, I, I have no words. So, had to go. We decided had to go. Yeah. In doing the demo in the master bathroom, uh, when some of the, the walls started coming down, some of the drywall came down, and we can mention that one of the odd things about this house was the layers of drywall. Well, it still is. It still is a problem. <laughs> well, it's not a problem, but it was just odd that uh, everywhere where there was drywall, there were two layers of drywall. Yes. It was the, 1967 was the year when they allowed drywall. Drywall's new and it's, let's... Brand new. Let's use it and let's use, do it twice. Well, let's just be a building department uh, and they are as competent here as they are everywhere. So anyway, so what happened was, <laughs> is that when, when we started doing the deconstruction of this bathroom and one of the first layers of the drywall came down, this is what we had found was, this was original wallpaper that was in this bathroom. And I can say, groovy. Totally cool, and it wasn't just on the walls. It was actually on the ceiling as well. Now, if this would have been here, we wouldn't have touched it. No. But it was it was so badly damaged. Um, and incomplete, obviously, you know. There's only small pieces of it that were actually still there on the wall. But it was groovy. It was. So after a lot of thought, um, we decided on a layout and Stuart in a 3D program created the plans for this bathroom. Right. Yeah, uh, like I did for uh, the fireplace in uh, our Chicago house, I used my 3D program to come up with a design that we wanted to use to, to best utilize where all the, the tub and the toilet and the shower were going to be. Yep. So that's what we did. So this is the end result, and it's a bathroom we thoroughly enjoy every day. Um, we wanted it to be very modern, um, and still, well, we, we wanted <laughs> what they call spa feeling. Right. I think we achieved that, and I uh, haven't had any regrets in this bathroom. Mm -hmm. Now here's one thing, it's one of my favorite renovation stories um, of any renovation we have done together. Right, and we talked about this a little bit in one of our previous vlogs. Yeah, well, so we have this big pool. It's really nice. It's, I think it's six foot seven deep. Right, and definitely this was not a feature we were looking for when we were looking for a house. No, we didn't. We didn't no. want a pool. No, no. It's, no. I can say it's really nice to have one. When it's hot in the summer, yeah. it is absolutely amazing. Um, this was interesting. It was a, a beautiful custom pool, which fits this one-of-a-kind home. So it was really nice. But as you can see, it kind of looks very dark and murky. And um, so this was the fall when we looked at the house and before we actually had bought it, and the first spring, we decided we needed to investigate this a bit further. So how do you investigate a pool? You just pump out the water, which we did. Right. And good Lord, there was, I can't yeah. even tell you how many hundreds of skeleton Dead. and rodent. Small animals, uh, that's horrible. Frogs. Um, Salamanders. And um, mice. I, I, wh yeah. Whoever drowned, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's terrible, but whoever drowned in there was on the bottom and there was about 18 inches which, uh, of, of just leaves and, and gunk. Right, they, and were, they were on their way to being fossilized, I believe. Pretty much, yeah. yes. And <laughs> the moment the water was gone and it was just the, the mud and gunk at the bottom, yeah. that stench was mind horrible, numbing. I, it was... And, I remember one day, it was very early in the morning, and we were just we started to just get all the the stuff, shoveling it into buckets, carrying it up the stairs and getting it out. Right. Um, I know some people say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I don't eat breakfast. I just, at that point, you know, the, the, I had coffee and a cigarette and we quit smoking in the meantime, but 
it was, uh, it turned my stomach and thank goodness there was nothing in it. It was so bad. And it took us about, I think, what, two days to get everything out of it. Yeah. Um, and so, hence, that's that picture when it's, um, everything's out and it was two days of our lives that we'll never get back, but it was actually a really cool project. And once we started painting it, Right, which was a whole nother thing that we had to, uh, you know, you to, it's a special kind of paint, you know, a two component paint that you have to use. And, and of course we had to be geared up for that. So we had to get all the gear that we needed, respirators yes. and everything for all that. And, you know, uh, you have to have the right weather to paint a project <laughs> like that. So, you know, we, we were prepared. So it was a huge, a huge job to paint. And we had to make sure that we were prepared for, uh, it couldn't get wet you know, while it was drying. So we had to make sure we created a cover just in case something happened. So we had tarps that had to span the top of the whole pool. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was uh, more than we bargained for, but it was a great project and I'm really glad we did it. Yeah. One thing uh, that was really odd is there is this big hole in the middle of um, the River rock wall, and this is solid. These are solid rocks, uh, granite mostly, and whatever feature was in there was gone. It just brought it away, um, and so we decided we're going to just get some uh, scaffolding and fill this the wall up and close the hole. Um, we replaced the light fixture, um, and on the. On the top of the wall, we cut out some of the stones and put in a three feet, basically one meter wide waterfall that comes straight out of, so the water goes through the heater and it's this really wide waterfall coming down. You can actually um, stand there and have, have hot water um, smashing down onto your neck, it, which is almost like a massage. It's fantastic. It is. One thing I'm going to miss from this house is yeah. th this is a pool um, we'll never get back. We were told if you build this pool today, it's about $180,000 and no, no, uh, too much, but it's, it's gorgeous. It was uh, such a luxury and we enjoyed it every summer. Yep. So that concludes part two of our renovation of this house. Uh, it was a long journey to renovate this house, but it was a uh, labor of love. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And sometimes it was a lot of frustrating moments that added up. But we um, were very proud of what we have accomplished. And now we're looking forward to finding our chateau. That's right. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bon journée. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.